anything is 1 minus the probability of what? Of none of those things. You see this that you guys have up here? I'm going to put not just a star. What kind of I'm going to put a, a star here. I'm going to put a what? Happy face here. What else am I going to put here? A diamond. You got like diamonds, right? Okay. Why am I going to do this? Because this phrase here, you guys are going to be using, you know, on when you come to get back in your test. A lot of your homework problems are done using that phrase. If you ever see the phrase at least one, what do you guys do? Complement rule. So from this day forward, you see the a probability question and the phrase at least one, you're going to use what? This complement rule. Okay? When I say get a tattoo, I'm sort of halfway serious, but this is a, a big portion of it. You can answer a lot of questions this way. Okay? For example, question C. What does question C say? What does it say? What does it say? I can't. At least one voted yes. So you're looking for the probability that at least one person voted how? Yes. You guys see that there? What is that equal to by this complement rule? What is that equal? Huh? No. What do I write down? The probability that at least one voted yes is what? What is it? What do I write down? One minus the probability of what? One minus the probability of what? No. What do I write down? I'm writing down every gory detail. The probability at least one voted yes. The probability at least one voted yes is 1 minus the probability of what? None. Good. None voted what? Yes. OK? It's 1 minus the probability that none voted yes. It just so happens that you have already deduced this probability. What is it? What does it mean that, what's the probability none voted yes? Does anybody want to tell me? What is it? Anybody know what this probability is? It's, what is it? 0 0.075. Gabby, why do you say that? We did it in A. We did it in A. We did it already in A. We already deduced the probability that none voted what? Yes, this is the method. OK, you guys OK with this? I gave it to you in bite-sized pieces so that you didn't choke on it. Meaning, I asked you A already, and I already knew you are going to use it in C. OK, you guys OK with this? So what's 1 minus 0 0.05? What is it, Gabby? Point nine what? Two five. So the probability that at least one voted yes is point nine two five. And I want to say this to you. Take a good look at this question. Because what happens is um, sometimes you can see test questions that they're not even gonna give you, they're not even they may not ask you question A. This may just be the question, and at least one question. What's the probability? You select how many again? Three. You're selecting three. What's the probability that at least one voted what? Yes. So you have to do all of that work. And even when they say how many, they, they're going to say what? Different people. So you're putting all those ideas together. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Hmm? You guys know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I just said? What did I just say? They may not lead you along the path to get the answer the way I did here.
They may just say, here's the scenario, select three different, with the probability of at least one, yada, yada. You have to be prepared to deal with that. Okay, look at the next question. D. What does D say? The probability at least one was what? At least one was who? Female. That's one minus the probability that what? What is it? Right? What's the phrase? None were what? None were who? Female. None were female. So what that means is, huh, do we know what that is, Gabby? Did we determine, Gabby, the probability that none were female? Did we do that? Oh, we did. In what? Question B. What's the probability? 0 0.018. What's 1 minus 0 0.018? 0 0.98 what? 2. Okay, you guys okay with that? Here's the deal. Example. Do you guys want to put that light? Is there a light that's off? We know this light here. We'll put the light on. Here we go. Uh, anybody have a job that you can't be late for? <laughs> what happens if you're late? Oh, there's no one to watch the kids. They can't watch themselves? Okay. Um, what time do you go in? Oh, 2.30 when they get out. Do you usually sleep until 2.30? No? Let's say you do. If you buy three alarm clocks, right, or two, it doesn't matter. OK, sometimes people buy, have to buy more than one alarm clock. Do you ever hear of somebody doing that? Do you ever hear of someone having more than one alarm clock so that they're not late? What are they doing, Gabby? Huh? Why buy more than one alarm clock? Well, let's say you bought how many alarm clocks? Two? Okay, we'll start with two. Let's say um, if you purchase or you use two alarm clocks. So that you can wake up in time for work. Okay. And here's a fact that alarm clocks 